Well, the college football coaching carousel is nearing warp speed. Earlier today, a Jim Trestle to Nebraska rumor was running rampant on the internet. The Cornhuskers did indeed hire a former OSU coach today, but that would be former Oregon State University coach Mike Riley. Meanwhile, current Ohio State offensive line coach and co-offensive coordinator Ed Warner has reportedly been offered the vacant Kansas job, where he was an assistant coach prior. But conflicting reports say he has not even interviewed for that position. Of course, that could all be plausible deniability. There is no denying that the fifth-ranked Buckeyes are busy preparing for Wisconsin in the Big Ten title game Saturday night in Indianapolis. If not for Ohio State quarterback JT Barrett's season-ending ankle injury in last week's win over Michigan, would have been a pair of Heisman candidates on the field this weekend as the Badgers running back Melvin Gordon, already over 2,000 yards rushing this season, is a leading candidate to win the sport's most prestigious award, at least one of the leading candidates. Without Barrett, the Buckeyes are looking for everyone to step up. A group that is now more experienced than it was in August when Braxton Miller went down and Barrett was forced to take over the quarterback duties. And Urban Meyer says that the season-ending injury shouldn't stop Barrett's Heisman hopes. We love JT. I personally have an incredible amount of respect for him, uh, as our entire team and Buckeye Nation does because of uh, who he is. And the more you'll get to know him uh, the next several years, he's just a wonderful young man that uh, is an incredible leader, works extremely hard at his trait. Uh, he is a Heisman candidate, too, and he should be invited to New York. And if he's not, then there's something wrong. He has Heisman statistics. Um, I did a little research on that. Obviously, I got asked that question several weeks ago, and I didn't know. But he's got uh, uh, very uh, excellent statistics, and he's a leader of uh, uh, one of the top five teams in America. So I hope that uh, that young man is invited to New York, and he should be. I mean, the guys accounted for 45 touchdowns in 12 games. So I think what our team needs to understand is, is, is Cardell going to come in and account for seven touchdowns in this game? Probably not and doesn't need to and shouldn't have that weight put on him. Um, so to expect that as a teammate, I think, would be a little bit false. So we have to coach our guys that, hey, JT's not here. JT's numeric production might, you know, is, is going to be missed. But we'll be able to make it up in X, Y, and Z fashion, and everything's going to be OK. So the intangibles of the leadership and all that stuff, I, I think, are more in the locker room and day to day more than they are the three hours during game day, you know, on, during the game.